Let's solve this linear system using Gauss-Jordan elimination. We'll first rewrite this as a matrix equation, A times X equals B, where A is the matrix of coefficients. We have 2, 6, 1 from the first equation, 1, 2, negative 1 from the second equation, and 5, 7, negative 4. From the third equation. x is the vector of unknowns and b is the vector of constants. Notice that the symbols we use for the variables are not important. x1, x2, x3 is the same as x, y, z, a, b, c, whatever. So this is why we only focus on the matrices a and b, forming what we call the augmented matrix of the system. We take those two matrices which characterize the linear system completely and augment them together in a single matrix. And now we'll use a number of row operations to transform this augmented matrix into what we call the reduced row echelon form, allowing us to immediately read the three solutions. We'll start by interchanging the first and second rows, giving us this matrix. Now, let's subtract two copies of row 1 from row 2, updating it like this. And now, we'll subtract five copies of row 1 from row 3. This completes the first column. Now, let's divide the second row by 2, and then subtract two copies of row 2 from row 1. To complete the second column, we now need to add three copies of row 2 to row 3. Good. Now, let's multiply the third row by 2 over 11, and with that, we have the third row completed. Now, let's add four copies of the third row to the first row, giving us this augmented matrix. Then, we can subtract 3 over 2 copies of row 3 from row 2, and this completes the reduced row echelon matrix. So, we're now ready to read off the answers immediately. x1 is 10, x2 is negative 3, and x3 is 5. So, these are the three solutions to the linear system of equations we started with.